Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to pull back the curtain and let you see inside an actual one-on-one -on -one class with an actual applicant. We at Magic Ears want to support you through the application process as you come over and join our Magic Ears family. Special thanks to those teachers who gave us permission to use the one-on-one -on -one video footage of their class to help future teachers like you. A couple of caveats go in and then we'll jump right into the one-on-one. -on -one. Offering these example videos pose some potential pitfalls if used incorrectly. It's super helpful to remember that we do not expect you to copy these great applicant teachers. When preparing for your own one-on-one -on -one class, be sure to read and refer to your teacher manual. Refer back to the training that you've already received in your one-on-four -on -four class and in your teacher portal and follow the teacher directions on on the PowerPoints. As you watch this video, please take special note of the advice and feedback that our excellent trainer gives to the applicants before and during their one-on-one. -on -one. This will give you even more insight into what to expect and what we're looking for at Magic Ears. Are you ready to watch a great one-on-one -on -one class? Enjoy. Hi, Paul. My name is my name is Delaney, but I go by Teacher Laney, so you can call me Laney. <laughs> Laney, beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you. How are you feeling today, Paul? Um, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Um, yeah? I've been practicing for a few days now, um, oh. I've, but it, it, it's go time. I got to be honest with you. Um, I really wanted to join Magic Ears, so I haven't felt nervous like I have not the last time since 12 years. So, but really, well, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> you can use that to your advantage. You can harness it into energy and passion while you teach. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah. So um, today, this is a little bit of uh, just a quick thing of what we're doing today. You'll be doing a short demo of about 10 minutes and then it's 10 to 14. So Try not to go less than 10. Try not to go over 14. Um, and then I'll give you a little bit of feedback, answer any questions that you might have. Um, and this one's almost like a, a practice demo. I won't be really scoring you or anything on that. It's just kind of the icebreaker, get, this, get everything moving, you know. The part two demo is um, the serious one. That is where you should have taken into account any of the feedback that I gave you here. Um, hopefully you'll adjust accordingly and I'll be actually kind of, I hate to say scoring, but you know, basically kind of scoring you based on um, that criteria. And um, then I'll be giving you more feedback. And, uh, and then if we have time, we can kind of go over some of the buttons and make sure you're familiar, which I actually wanna do one or two of those before we start just so that it goes smoother. But, um, and then that will be it. And I should mention, I won't be the one actually making the decision, but my feedback obviously will be taken into account. So after we're finished here, um, the Beijing team will get my feedback and they'll view the recording and then you should hear from them within two business days. And hopefully you'll be moving on to a trial class with real Magic Ears students. <laughs> That's what we'll hope for. Um, can you switch to the next page for me, Paul? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. All right. So this is basically what I just said. Did you get a chance to read the teaching manual? Yes. Okay, great. Yes, I did. So you'll, be wanna, you'll want to be teaching according to that, following the teacher directions, which are in that gray box underneath your window. Um, do you have two props for each lesson today? Yes, I do. Perhaps. Okay, perfect. And I'm sure you read about our three bottom lines in the teaching manual, which are teaching with passion, um, muting, noise control, and um, timing. Today, we can't really do anything with the noise control because you just have one student um, and I won't be too noisy, don't worry. <laughs> uh, that definitely comes more into play when you have four students with four different families behind them and babies crying and TVs going. So we can't really do much with that today. I'll really be looking at um, your passion and energy is 
the biggest thing and timing. But um, that again is even a little bit odd because it's a, a short lesson, you know, it's not a full lesson. Um, the timer up at the top, when you teach a real class, obviously you'll have it, it'll be counting up so you'll know exactly where you are. We're not starting from zero, so it's going to be a little more wonky. If you have your cell phone and want to set a timer that doesn't make noise or anything, you're welcome to do that. You don't have to. This isn't, don't stress too much about the time. Um, you kind of want to get to the game around eight minutes, but it's not like, oh, you got there at 810. You're, that's it. You're done. You know, <laughs> don't worry too much. We just want to, you know, you want to start forming the habit of managing the time well, but this is a, a baby lesson. So it's a little bit weird. Um, yeah. Before we start, do you know the, can you click the interaction bu button for me and make sure you know how that works? It's got the, yeah, very good. And drag me up next to you. Yay. Okay, perfect. So you're going to want to use this definitely on the greeting, the goodbye, and then the let's practice page, which is the ones with like the gray. It'll be all kind of grayed out. Um, those are when you are required to use this function. You're welcome to use it more if you want, but definitely make sure you use it those three times. And you can click it again to put us back. Uh, I think that's the most important button you need to know. Do you know how to turn my pen on and off? To off yeah, very good. And you can turn it off. There we go. Yeah, very good. Okay, I think you're good. Do you have any questions for me about Magic Ears or the platform or what we're doing today? Um, I'll tell you one thing that I – the snowball game in my click. I've practiced where to click the nose, the head. I One know. practice session, I got jumbled and I was, ah! this, You are not alone, good sir. That game, even for, like, I'm a senior teacher and the snowball game th throws me for a loop sometimes. Um, what I've noticed is either clicking the nose or the tail is usually what gets the snowball to go. So if the nose isn't working, try the tail. Um, and also one thing I've noticed that a lot of teachers do is they forget to clear like the previous question before they move on to the next one. So you click the, the number to bring the question up and you can throw the snowball and then you actually click like the text of that question and it should disappear. Because if you don't clear that one, they're just going to overlay and it gets really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I that's you just described exactly what happened. I was yeah. it was a picture of an arm and it was leg and it was, yeah. uh, <laughs> and I, I got to the point where I was like, okay, one student, I'll answer two questions and just throw yeah. the snowball. I'll have them just give them, <sighs> give them both. Yeah, that don't don't stress. That game is okay. complicated. You know, just try to relax, take it slow. I think when you start to panic and click everywhere, it just kind of goes nuts. So um you know, and if something weird happens where a leg pops up, but it says arm, you can roll with it. You can say, is this the arm? Is this the arm? No, that's not the arm. You know, just have fun with it. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any other questions or concerns? No. no? Okay. No. Excellent. Um, there is one. I'm sure you previewed this lesson. There's a slide in this first demo where it's like a matching game where they have to click like the word I I'll as a student will be clicking the word in the picture. Um, I've seen a lot of teachers also not know when to move on from that slide. When we get there, you'll see above my head, like four little question marks. When those question marks change into pictures, uh, that's when I'm finished. You can see that I've completed the, the matching game. So, um, but other than that, I, think you should be good unless are you good any more questions no thank you thank you for that uh, yeah and uh, are you nervous don't be nervous you seem like you have a fun personality and you'll do really well <laughs> thank, you. thank you i it, i have to admit when i was going through it it it, it finally hit me i i've been so confident for the past 12 years but then i was thinking the demo fly by but the trial i i was trying to um Practice. I was trying to anticipate the answer of the student, the struggling. So yeah. I 
you're right. I, I got this. Thank you. Don't worry. You'll be great. It's a, you know, it's a learning curve because it's a different platform, but we're not, we're not so strict that if you click a button wrong, it's, ugh. if you have the passion and the energy, um, you'll be great. That's the biggest thing I think. So, and you've prepared, I can tell you, you've prepared, so you'll do wonderfully. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So Paul, whenever you're ready, you can flip to the next slide. Okay. And I will be your five or six year old student. So keep that in mind. Listen for corrections you might need to make and um, just have fun. So okay. Whenever you're ready, take it away. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. My name is Teacher Paul. Hello, teacher. Hello. What is your name? Lainey. Good. Hello, Lainey. Hi. Hi. Are you happy today? Happy. Good. Wow. Good job. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Song time! Hello, hello, how are you today? I am happy, happy, happy. <laughs> hello, hello, how are you today? I am sad, sad, sad. <laughs> Okay, wow. Are you ready? Ready. Good. Today, how are you? How are you? Good, good. Here we go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. What? Hello. Hello. How are you? Wow. Good job. Wow. Let's practice. Okay. Hello. 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 Hmm. <laughs> How? How? Are? Are? You. You. Good, good. How are you? How are you? Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Lainey. Okay. Ooh. Big S. Big S. Big S. Good. Little S. Little. Good, good, good. Little S. Little S. Wow. Woo. Good job. Good job. One more time. Big S. Big S. Good job. Little S. Little S. Good job. Are you ready? 
Ready! Go! Sad. Sad. Mm. Sad. 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 Good job. Good job. Wow. Very good. Very good. Good job. Let's go. Practice. Sad. Sad. Okay, good, good. Sad. Sad. Okay, good. Watch my mouth. Sad. 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 <laughs> Woo! Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very good. <laughs> oh. <gasps> yes, good job, Lainey. Good job. Wow, very good. Oh. oh, no. Sad. 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 How are you? How are you? Good job. I am sad. I am sad. Good job. Whoa, good job, lady. Good job. Yes. Okay. Sad. Sad. Happy. Happy. Okay, good. Let's see. How are you? How are you? I am. I am sad. Good job. Good job. Very good. Very good. Okay, one more. How are you? How are you? I am happy. Yes, good job. Happy. Woo, good job, lady. Good job. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Okay. Mm. Sad. Yes. Good. Sad. Good. Okay. Hmm. How are you? I, I am sad. Yes, good, good. I am. I am sad. Sad. Good, 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 good. How are you? I am sad. Yes. Good job. Good job. Very good. Let's listen. Bye bye. Good. 
bye 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 goodbye. I can clap my hands. I can stamp my feet. I can clap my hands. I can stamp my feet. Good job. Good job. Can't review. Happy. Happy. Good job. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh no. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, and sad, sad, good, good, big S, big S, big S, good, little S, little S, little S. Little S. Good. How are you? How are you? I am happy. I am happy. Good, good. How are you? How are you? I am sad. I am sad. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay. One more. <laughs> okay, Lainey. Good job. Good job. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Lainey. Bye. <laughs> All right, Paul. That was awesome. You are. Thank you. You are so amazing. You. <laughs> There and I was oh thank you so much thank you <laughs> no you did a great job I'm trying to find my paper over here sorry I'm shuffling around not oh, a my problem goodness. not a problem um that was awesome you did so good you were so well prepared it thank you <laughs> definitely showed that was great um all right so let me look through here and we can talk about what uh we'll talk about these things and then I'll look over my notes for you um. But you definitely followed the teaching routine. You did the three uh, mandatory interaction sessions. You did those perfectly. And you gave um, a trophy each time, which was really nice. And you also did the three individual trophy um, requirements, which was awesome. And you gave other trophies throughout, which was really nice to, you know, whenever I said something correctly, you would reward me. So that was really cool. Um, I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, you did it so well. The I could tell you were really comfortable with the interaction button, which for some reason a lot of people end up struggling with, but you did it perfectly. So kudos to you, Paul. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank um, you so much. Yes, of course. You did really well as far as having passion, which I think is like our biggie of the bottom lines. Um, you were not afraid to be silly. You had a big smile on your face you dance around you had fun um oops let me stop my timer there um you yeah it was it seemed authentic too like i think we have over here kind and authentic because sometimes it depending on the teacher especially if it's not their actual personality it can come across feeling forced or something and for you it was not that way it was very natural and and fun and if I've learned anything, kids can tell when you're faking it, unfortunately. So. <laughs> yeah, well said. Well said. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you did use transitional language. I'm sure lots of different companies don't want you to use any transitional language. No um, excess words. 
we don't really like that here at Magic Ears because it creates a lot of awkward pauses. Um, we like it to flow, to feel fluid. Uh, okay, class, now let's read together. Now let's move to the next page. And I think you did do that for the most part. Um, I didn't notice any awkward pauses, but that I, you know, I didn't notice any. So, um, but be aware, we do like that. We like to do a natural transition and you can definitely vary it by the level. You know, if it's a level one, you're not going to go, okay, class, what are we going to do next? Hmm. I think we might go to the next page and read a story. What do you think? You know, you can, you can make it simplified and at their level while still making it flow. Like, all right, class, now let's read together something slow and simple. And yeah, um, voice dragging you did not do, which is nice. That's, um, you know, like, good job, Lainey. Um, I think people, some teachers do this to maybe fill fill some dead air or they think it's like friendly, but it ends up just kind of sounding awkward. And it can sometimes sound a little bit fake, even though I'm sure that's not their intention. It just, it's, it's also kind of teaching poor pronunciation. So um, you did well. You did short, strong. Good job. Way to go. You know, that's what we like to see. And you did that well. So great work. Um, pa uh, as far as passion, voice variation is a big deal. You had good natural voice variation. So you definitely weren't monotone um, during the class at all. I would use this a little bit more in the the one-on-one -on -one let's practice over here um, in as far as you can. And this kind of has to do with repetition down here. Um, when you're getting the student to repeat after you several times, you can do it in a variety of ways, like um, a quiet voice and then a loud voice or a low voice and a high voice. Um, you can do it and you can make it a song. I do that a lot. Sing, sing, sing. Repeat after me, Timmy, you know. Sing, sing, sing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, but I do, I think you had, like I said, good natural voice variation. I would just use it a little bit more in the let's practice. And that makes it more fun. It keeps them engaged. Um, Cause if you have four students, and you're saying sad the same way, um, it might be fine for the first one, but by the fourth kid, when he's heard you say sad nine times the same way, he is done, he or she is done. So um, I like to change it up per kid and keep them on their toes because it, like I said, makes it fun, keeps them interested, keeps them engaged. So um, yes, anyway. Moving on, facial expressions. You have wonderful facial expressions. Very expressive, very smiley, very warm. And you did well with the, like, the different emotions. Obviously, today we were learning happy and sad. And you were not afraid to act those out. And it was really fun. So good job on that. Uh, <laughs> you had very good TPR overall, the different movements. Um, the three main gestures, which are look at my mouth, repeat, and either like good job or high five, like a congratulatory gesture. Um, you did this the most, I think, and that was really good. I think there were times when I didn't see you cupping your ear, but in general, I did see you use the three main gestures repeatedly. So that was great. Um, teaching skills, you did well. You corrected me when I mispronounced sad. So that was great. Um, that means you were listening carefully and you kind of slowed it down and broke it into, you know, shorter sounds, which was really awesome. Um, the only thing I would say for correction is there was a couple times, I think, in like the role play or in the game um, where I would use like one word instead of a full sentence. And I would encourage you to encourage them to use the complete sentence if they're learning a target sentence. So I am sad instead of just sad. Um, and repetition skills, like I just talked about. You did repeat this um, the word several times in the 1v1, so that was good. I would just maybe do it in different voice variety, like I said before. 
Um, so that, do you have any questions about this? Have I been talking way too fast? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's valuable. Thank you for the feedback that yes. thank you so much. No, that makes perfect sense. The fourth kid and, gets up there and he's like, sad. So what? I've heard this nine times. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do I care? <laughs> now I am sad because I've heard this word too many times. <laughs> um, I'm looking at my notes to see if I had anything else i wrote down you had great tpr i noticed that you followed the teacher directions which was awesome you you know um used the interaction mode when you're supposed to oh this was one thing i was going to tell you which was it was in the first um over here will you clear the the thing it's i've sure. written so much i'm confusing myself the three individual trophies on the first read together you did give me a trophy. That was awesome. I would suggest for those pages, um, actually drag the student up onto, I call it the stage or whatever. Um, with one, one student, it's not as big of a deal because there's no other kids drowning me out. But you want, um, when you have a class full of students, you are giving them an individual chance to read together or read with you rather by themselves. So... If you drag the student whose turn it is up on the stage, it automatically mutes all the other kids. So you can focus on them, hear their pronunciation, give them the trophy, pull them back down and move on to the next kid. Um, so yeah, if, so yeah, to sum it up on the first read together, when you're awarding the trophy, try to drag the student up and, and in, you know, not, not in the one V one, uh, but just like, can you drag my window up to like right here? Yeah, just something like that. Um, some teachers confuse what I'm saying now with doing the interaction mode, but we don't want that on read together because then they can't read the sentence because your screens are blocking it. You know what I mean? Yeah, bring them up yeah. to the stage and reward them yeah. with individual trophy and put them back yeah. down. Okay. Yes, very good. Okay, right. so they feel like they're a part of it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 not at all. Yeah, they'll, they'll feel a part of it. Um, it's also just, I like to drag the students up a lot because it keeps things moving. It keeps it more interactive. Um, if they just stay in the at the line on the bottom the whole time, it can get boring. You know, it's a good way to add variety and you got to surprise them or they just tune you out. You know, I'm sure you know from your decades of teaching experience <laughs> uh, this is true but I, i'm learning i'm learning every day i'm learning new things yeah. every day and that's a great I, i'm gonna still the sing and the whisper that you are absolutely yeah. right but thank you for that feedback yeah of course i think all the rest of my stuff is i've talked about or it's just compliments good corrections you use the three main gestures um oh i loved in the matching game where my question marks were turning you stayed engaged in the class which was awesome because on that side since the teacher really doesn't have to do much that there's like the chinese instructions come on the kids are listening to that they're most of them are doing their own thing some teachers tend to just oh it's break time i'll wait till my turn comes back and you and that, you know, kills the energy of the class. And it's hard for the, I think it's hard for the teacher to get back in if they let themselves drop on that slide. You stayed physically engaged. You cheered for the students. You had fun. And that was really cool. Um, those slides for me tend to be all or nothing. The kids have them finished before the instructions are done or the kids don't do anything and they're just sitting there. And then they have four question marks above them and they're not making a move. Um, uh, there's a few different things you can try to keep engaged or to get them to, um, you know, understand what to do on that slide. Some teachers like to have like if they have a photo of like you had a sad face, they might on a on the whiteboard write S.A.D. and then have the sad face so they can kind of associate what the word and the pictures mean. Um, I like to drag my window up in between like the word and the picture and be like, sad, sad, you know, um, which is hard to get used to because when you're pointing, it's like the opposite on the camera, but, <laughs> but eventually it becomes second nature. So 
Um, but yeah, there's just, there's, and you'll experiment and figure out the ways that you like to help them continue. But that's just some ways that I do and other teachers do. So, but you did a really, since I'm, it was just one of me and I did it quickly. You didn't have to help me, but you did a really nice job staying active on that slide. So thank you for that. Um, you knew the button functions. You did the 1v1, or I'm sorry. When I say 1v1, I mean the interaction button. I, I think you know that, right? <laughs> um, and you knew how to turn off my pen when I was going crazy, which happens not infrequently in class, so that's good. Um, that was an awesome curveball, by the way. <laughs> that was that was awesome. That I, was I awesome. kind of hate doing that. I'm like, I don't want to like throw them off. I try to wait to the last page so it's not gonna like throw you off in the middle of your <laughs> lesson. But um, it does happen, so be prepared. I keep waiting for them to introduce a a button that will turn off the pens all at once because right now you have to do it individually. So sometimes you're like racing the kids as they're like frantically scribbling on the page. <laughs> but um, anyway, so you did well with that. And I wrote that you had good props. I liked your big letters and little letters. That was cool. And the faces, Thank of course. Um, and your timing was great. You got to Let's Play at 7.56. So you were on the money. Very good. And I think you ended at like 12 or something. So bravo. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You, you gave me the energy. You were, you were in there and I was like, whoa, I just, I just, I just fed off you. I was like, okay. It was awesome. So, I'm very glad. All right. Are you ready for round two? Let's do this. Do you have any questions before we start again? Uh, no, but thank you for the feedback and suggestions. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank Absolutely. you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, hang on just a second. I am going to try to record this, if you don't mind. Oh, not so at all. Finish my feedback. I can make sure I'm remembering everything. Um, the last time I used this recording thing, it kind of lagged my my platform but i had four students and i was the teacher working the platform i'm hoping since there's only two of us and i'm not really clicking anything it will go well but if it starts to freak out i will close it and we can continue <laughs> not a problem I, I i i can roll with that. i'll be more than happy to help okay cool all right if you want to flip to the next slide paul and whenever you are oh and this is the same thing. Give a lesson based on the manual and my feedback, two props, the teacher directions. You have the passion. We know that. And keep it under 14 minutes. So whenever you're ready, take it away. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. My name is... Teacher Paul. Hello, Teacher Paul. What is your name? My name is Lainey. Wow, good job. Hi, Lainey. Hi. Are you happy today? Happy. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's listen. Yeah, good song. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Hand and leg. Hand and leg. Yes, let's do it. Ah, this is... 
This is the hand. The hand. Good. This is the hand. This is the hand. 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 Good job. Good. Good job. It's a big hand. It's a big hand. Big hand. Big hand. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Hmm. What is it? What is it? Hmm. It's Superman. It's Superman. Good job! Wow! Wow! Good job! Okay, Lenny, are you ready? Ready! Let's go! Hand. 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 Good, good. Hand. Hand. Good. Okay. This is. This is. My hand. My hand. Good. This is my hand. This is my hand. Good job. Good job, Lainey. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's practice. Hand. 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 Yes. Good. Good job, lady. Are you Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. Watch me, okay? Okay. Clap your hands. Yeah, good. Clap. Clap. Your hands. Your hands. Good job. Good job. Wave. Wave. Wave your arms. Wave your arm. Oh, good, good. Watch my mouth. Wave your arms. Wave your arm. Good, good. Arms. Arms. Wow, yes. Janie, wave your arms. Wave your arms. Wave your arms. Oh. Good job. Good job. Oh, shake your legs. Shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Good job. Good job. Are you ready? Ready! Let's go! 
Okay. <gasps> mm. This is... This is... The arm. The arm. Good. Arm. Arm. Good, good. Okay. Hmm. This is the hand. This is the hand. Good job. Good job. This is the leg. This is the leg. Leg. Good. Oh, egg. Leg. Oh, egg. Leg. Wow. Oh, my God. Yes. Leg. Good job. Good job. Yes. Okay. Mm. This is Mickey. This is Mickey. Good job. Good job. Wow, Jane. Good job. Good job. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Snowball! <laughs> wow! Laney, Team A. Teacher Paul! Team B. Are you ready? Ready! Let's go! Okay. <gasps> Here we go. <laughs> what is this? Hand. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. Hmm. What is this? Uh, arm. Good. Good arm. Arm. Good. Uh oh. No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow. Good job. <laughs> good job, honey. That snowball on me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What's this? Leg. Leg. Good job. Yes. Good. Mm. What's this? Four. Four. Yes. Good job. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, good job, JD. Good job. Oh, good job. <laughs> oh, let's listen. <gasps> clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. Clean up, clean up. Put your things away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hand. Hand. Wow, very good. Very good. Arm. Arm. Good job. Good job. And? Log. Okay, good, good, good. Watch my mouth. Oh, egg. Leg. Leg. Good job. Wow. Leg. Leg. Woo. Good job. 
What's this? One, two, three, four. Yes. Good job, lady. Okay. This is. This is. Good. This is the. Hand. Good job. This is the hand. This is the hand. Woo! Good job. Good job. Okay. Come here. <laughs> Lainey, good job. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Good job. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye, lady. <laughs> Yay. Good job, Paul. <laughs> oh, that you're so was... awesome. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you again, teacher Paul, for letting us watch your amazing one-on-one -on -one class. Your winning personality and infectious laughter inspire us all. Help get the word out about Magic Ears by subscribing to the channel.